Alright, let's get out of the way. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment if you like. Blue Lock episode 12 started off with Isigi taking on the new competition. It's going to be a mission defeating this shit, but nothing's going to stop him and his goals. Isigi has to shoot 100 goals in under an hour 30. But I'm thinking, how the fuck is he going to do that? He couldn't even shoot the first time. Oh, with the power of anime, I should have known that. So basically the beginning part is just him figuring out that he has to get stronger and better. And this is the best way for him to do it. Each time he scores about 20 goals, the level just keeps getting harder and harder. And because it's anime, he'll just keep repeating the same, Oh fuck, how am I supposed to beat this thing? And then it'll get harder and it'll keep repeating and then he's the main character so he'll eventually win. I wish this was real life where Ego's assistant says, Hey, the technology that we're using here is really good for the students here because it caters to everyone's weakness and strength. And it's really top of the line type of material that we have here. There's microchips in the soccer ball and the robot that's in front of them is really expensive. Expensive. And this is the part that I really, really like. She says, and because of that, we're out of money. We're poor now. And he says, shut up. I don't fucking care. We're going to keep doing this. Spoken like a true boss. So it looks like the money that they put into these robots are actually paying off because he's starting to get faster and stronger. I find it hard to believe that he actually scored 100 goals in an hour 30 because he seemed like he got very tired throughout the whole game. Or he just got so good that he rapidly kept making goals even though it kept getting harder and harder. So once he destroys this part, he goes into a waiting room where a sign says you have to get into a group of three but none of his teammates have made it out so far and there's already a bunch of people there. But luckily, his best friend in the whole series comes out and says, Hey look, it's Batra. It feels really good passing. So, who do you think is going to be next? So after thinking about it, there's only two options to go with to be on their team. One is the man who's really good at striking, or the other man who's really fast and no one can catch up to him. Well, while they're waiting, the other team in Team V only has two members here as well. So they go over to Isigi and say, hey, I want you on my team. Are you willing to do it and ditch Batra? And Batra is a freaking bro, now I know why he likes him. Because he says, you know what, if you do it, no hard feelings. Well, not exactly that, but it is what it is. And then Isuki says, Well, I can't leave Bacha alone, so no. Very well then. If you're not going to accept it, then I'm ditching my partner and going on to your team. But unlike Bacha, the other guy says, What the fuck? How are you going to do that to me, man? What was this all for? Why did we even become teammates? And he wasn't even lying because they go on and they register as a three person team. And then the white haired guy tries to justify it and says, We didn't win at all. I think it's because you couldn't score very well. But I feel like we're both going to make it to the end. So I'll see you there, buddy. And as you can tell, it didn't feel very good. And he's like, Man. This fucking sucks. I'm the one who got him into soccer. Meanwhile, his other teammates are like, Looking forward to working with you. It's gonna be really cool. We're gonna make it to the end, I bet. And the main character's still not very sure. So he's thinking about it and he says, Well, if everyone else is good enough to be here, then they'll make it through all these rounds. But for now, I guess. Hey, we're gonna make it to the end, huh? So they make it to the next part of the second round, and there's already a team ahead of them, and it's of course the douchebag. And then Ego explains the next round, and there's going to be a 3 on 3 battle, and the goalies will be the blue lock men. And the winner will take one of the members of the other team, and they will form a 4 person group. And you'll keep doing this until you have gained 5 members, and then those 5 members will pass the selection. And if you lose, you'll be put back down to the stage where you're fighting 3 on 3, until someone doesn't get chosen and they're limited forever, and they disqualify and never can enter another match ever. But in the meantime, you don't have to fight this douchebag. You can also wait until another team comes and you can face them. It would be a smart thing to do because this douchebag guy is pretty good and it might cost you the whole game. And the douchebag guy just gets more douchey because he says, I don't really need you on my team. I just need you for the numbers. I'm here to exploit this thing for what it truly is. I'm going to join the biggest team in the soccer match and I'm going to destroy my big brother and I'm going to show him how sucky this thing is. So instead of taking the easy way out, Isuki says, you know what? We're here already. Let's just go full in. I'm going to challenge you to a match. Let's fucking go. All right. The question of the day is, have any of you ever gone this far in the video ever? And if you have, let me know in the comment section below that you want to keep seeing more of these reactions, explanations, or whatever you want to call them. All right. Peace.